In this article on May 30, 2021, we see a rather prominent mayor urging a green lane for fully vaccinated foreign tourists to be able to enter the Philippines as soon as possible. Now, the call for such people like Mayor Chan of Lapu Lapu City has been growing by the day. And in fact, Mayor Chan was probably one of the originals who were saying we should open up to foreign tourists, if my memory serves me correct. And he's reinforcing his stance here in this article, which is titled, High Time to Reassess Entry of Foreign Tourists. So what he's saying is that he has welcomed the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases to study the travel ban on inbound foreign tourists. The mayor said it's high time for the IATF, MEID, to look at the possible entry of vaccinated foreign tourists to help revive the economy. That's a very good development, he said. So as I said in the last video, the call is becoming more frequent and louder to allow foreign tourists back into the Philippines. Now, what that's going to look like if and when it happens, who knows? Will there be any requirement to quarantine? And if so, how long? And how will that play out for foreign tourists? My point of view is, yes, some foreign tourists will be keen enough to get over there and do that in order to possibly spend time with their loved ones. But the majority of people are not going to buy into having to quarantine for one or two weeks because for most people, that's nearly their entire stay. And to me, it's rather interesting that the Department of Tourism has sort of flip-flop on this a little bit lately, so I'm not really sure what their stance is. They originally said that they're looking to have a quarantine-free stay for fully vaccinated foreign tourists. And then there was an article a few days ago where they were talking about a seven-day quarantine period instead of a 14- or 10-day quarantine period. But as we go further down this article, we'll see they seem to be back to saying a quarantine-free period again. So I'm not really sure what their stance is at this stage around that. But from my point of view, if they're going to open it up to foreign tourists who are fully vaccinated, then they need to do so without any quarantine period at all. Otherwise, it's just not going to work for the majority of people. Now, in the article, it goes on to say, now, of course, most of us can't read what that says, so let's pull up a Google translation. I do believe it's something about the economy and tourism for Lapu Lapu, possibly. So Google Translate, which doesn't always translate 100% accurately, but gives us a little bit of an idea. And yes, they're talking about the economy and the tourism industry. Our city is very difficult, so we rely on tourists. So, so the mayor of Lapu Lapu City is concerned that without the tourism industry, that his city is suffering quite considerably, which no doubt that'll be the case for many areas of the Philippines and the Philippines in general, who does rely on international tourism rather heavily. So Chan made the comment after the IATF MEID created a small working group headed by the Department of Tourism and the Department of Foreign Affairs to examine how the Green Lane can be put into place. Proposed by the Department of Tourism, the setting up of a Green Lane would facilitate the entry of fully vaccinated foreign visitors to the country as part of the government efforts to reopen the economy. IATF directed the SWG to assess how countries, mostly in Europe, opened up their borders to vaccinated tourists. It also tasked the group to implore measures that need to be applied for the Green Lane to achieve its objective of resuming international travels. So again, they're looking to Europe to see how they've opened up their borders to vaccinated tourists, and they're looking possibly also, I believe, around Southeast Asian countries to work out what's worked for them in being able to get foreign tourists back into the country. So whilst borders are still a way off for foreign tourists, it's something they're working on and they continue to work on and the calls are getting louder and are still not going away, which is a very good sign in my opinion. With the Green Lane, Department of Tourism said, immunised foreigners need not have to undergo the required quarantine. So they're back to that stance again in this article. So again, it's just waiting and seeing what they finally come up with at the end of all of this. 
The country is enforcing entry restrictions on people travelling from COVID-19 affected countries as it tries to prevent the further spread of the virus. Also, the country is imposing the mandatory 14-day quarantine for all arriving passengers, whether or not they show symptoms of the disease. So that's currently at this time. That's what they're doing for anyone who comes into the country. And I'm assuming most of those people would be uh, Filipinos returning home because foreign travellers, as we know, can't get into the country at this stage. So that's a little bit more encouraging news for all you guys out there who are waiting to go to the Philippines to be with your Filipina. But for sure, it's no done deal just yet. And this is all research and working out different ways that they can make it happen. And I would think that President Duterte wouldn't be going to open the country if he has any doubts at all. So whilst this all does look promising, they've still got to formulate everything, come up with a plan, and then put that to the government for official approval. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm still putting my money on the Philippines opening to foreign travellers who are fully vaccinated just in time for Christmas this year. I know some of you guys have told me that I'm way off there. It won't be until the, the first or second quarter of next year. But to me, that Christmas period makes absolute sense as far as getting something in place to get the tourism economy at least rolling again which will flow into the Philippines economy overall. Because you think about it, and let me know in the comments here, guys, if the Philippines did reopen to fully vaccinated foreign travellers just in time for Christmas, how many of you guys would be saying, yep, I'm there, I'm going, because I haven't seen my Filipina in two years or three years? And even guys who may just want to go there to explore the country, who have missed being in the country for two, three years and had planned to do so over the last year but weren't able to, how many of those guys would be quick to get the vaccinations and get over there for Christmas and to then explore the country? To me, it just seems like a great opportunity and a perfect time to reopen to foreign tourists. So again, guys, just let me know in the comments there in a respectful way. Remember, this video is just about passing on information as it comes to hand. It's not about having a discussion on whether the vaccinations work or don't work, whether they're going to cause you harm or not harm, etc., etc., etc. We don't enter into that on this channel. Other channels may entertain that sort of discussion, but no, here is just about passing on information for all the guys out there who are keen to get back into the Philippines. We all have our opinions on this, but we don't need to air them and try and push it on other people in hope that we can convince them to see things our way. So if we can all be respectful of this channel and all our viewers, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.